guys, what is up? It's Ben Lichter here at Pond Bank Farms. Just thought I'd tune in for a second. It's Christmas Day. Merry Christmas. I got him out tonight. Um, but yeah, so hope everyone had a Merry Christmas and uh, hope you have a great 2024. Christmas. Now it's not Christmas yet here, but by the time you're seeing this, it will be. I am off to the Canadian store of tires. Um, and doing a little bit of uh, last Christmas stocking stuff or shopping for my wife. I don't even know what I'm going to get yet. And buying a um, smart screen TV because oh, me and my wife decided we'd do that this year. And I just dropped her off at Walmart. I came to Canadian Tire because I got to do a little bit of stocking stuff and stuff for gifts for her. And uh, yeah, we'll see what we find. I feel like a little bit of a fool walking around with the camera, but I don't know, no one's around, you can do it. Today we are getting some uh, hoops trimmed, which means Jake is busy helping with that, which means that I have to do a few of Jake's chores for him in the heifer barn, feeding him, scraping the manure, so you can tag along with me. Hey girl, so we gotta, we gotta trim hoops, so the cattle go in that chute. Then in the hoop trimming chute. And then uh, basically, for those who don't know or haven't been around it, the cow's hoops grow kind of like your toenails or whatever, and we gotta cut them. And if you don't cut them, they get banana shaped. They grow really, I'll show you. So here, that's a good hoof, but like they'll grow out like this, and then, and then the cow won't walk straight and it'll affect the way it walks you know how it is it's basically like a good think of um a good um shoe to walk in or something like that basically that's what we're doing okay so basically we every day we scrape out the the um scrape alley it's called with the skitty so we just swing all these gates like so Oh my goodness. Sometime since I've been here last, this gate somehow managed to get a little bent. Anyway, so yeah, we just swing them all in. Like that. Okay, all the gates are opened up. Let's bring the skid steer in. And that is how it looks when it's finished. So, now swing the gates closed. That part is done. Then, gotta throw some bales in front to feed them.
uh, time to go home and grab a bite to eat. Then I'm coming back and gonna work on cleaning out a little bit. So I got a helper here today to help me clean out, or tonight to help me clean out the heifer barn. We're gonna start at it. What what is your gonna what's your um what are you gonna be doing with? How are you gonna be helping? You gonna be helping? Huh? Yeah, you are. He's a big helper. Um so we're gonna go over there. We're gonna get started. And well uh yeah, stay tuned. Okay, so it seemed like an eternity. I finally got the chains undone. The manure is kind of pushing up against them. Got the first pen cleaned out here. Uh, got about, I don't know if I'm gonna do two more. I'm not gonna get them done, all done tonight, but. So basically the first four pens here have not worked down. The bigger animals, they work it down no problem. We'll probably never have to clean them out. These, as you can see, there's a little bit of manure. We got the TV hung today. This is kind of what we got, a joint Christmas present to ourselves for such a hard year. <laughs> no, but uh, this is what I was working on for most of the day, um, or for two or three hours today. So, yeah, now, now I'm off to milk. So, here's some of the aftermath of the opening presents. Here's Clyde, fast asleep on the couch. It's been a busy day. Anyway, I'm off to milk. So, I guess this is. This is what they plan on doing while I'm milking. <laughs> Getting ready to milk. Got to take the milkers out, get ready. Hey Jake. Do you know what number milkers dad usually takes? 1216. 1216. Ready, set, let's roll. It's crazy today. It was plus nine here, Christmas Day, right? And uh, last year at this time, um, Christmas Eve, that night, into Christmas morning, we got so much snow. I had the tractor at my place, and I had to take the tractor, pick up dad to bring to the farm because we couldn't get through the snow in our trucks. This goes to show what a difference one year can make. Don't worry. I'm sure we're in for, we're in for some uh, stormy weather yet. Well, since it's Christmas Eve and we're nearing the end of a year, it's time to reflect a little bit. Let me give you a little, just a little timeline, a story about the history of our farm. Um, so we bought this farm It'll be 11 years this February. We bought this farm with 60 kgs of quota. For those of you that aren't from Canada, I'll get into how the quota system works in another video. Um, so, um, before that then, we I farmed a dairy farm with my dad, or a family dairy farm up until I was 14 years old. Um, about an hour and a half north of here. When I was 14, we sold that farm and Girl. And I am now, and then for four years about we weren't farming and in that time frame I did uh, a lot of different work that uh, went anywhere from uh, worked on solar panels to uh, um, mason work and that. So then when I was 18 we bought this farm and started farming here and uh, never looked back. And so anyway it's been a good ride. It really has the um, best thing we've ever done I think. Um, it's just a great 
a great thing to do growing up. It taught, you know, about when I was 18, so I was still essentially a kid. Taught me a lot of responsibilities and stuff, and things I wouldn't have learned elsewhere. So, yes, it's been good. So, enough about the past, let's move to the present. We milk about 90 cows in here, we can tie up about 90, that's what we milk. It takes about two, two and a half hours for two guys to milk from start to finish. And in this barn as well, uh, we have, so it's three rows long and then on the other side of this, these three rows here is some pens for close up dry cows, which is cows that are going to calve within the next month or two so so here are the pens are I was talking about over here and I'm at the end of the barn and would you look at that looks like we have a baby calf are you proud are you proud of what you did proud mama 